beginning of the rest of my September. I spent some serious quality time with these three people that I value so deeply, Ben, Gordo, and Alyssa. Alyssa came into me and Abby's life while we were building out the second renovation in Tawanda, and I felt deeply in friendship with her. I like to make the point that you can definitely have several soulmates in this life, and she was immediately someone I felt safe with and intrinsically connected to. For the past three years, we have slowly been building a friendship that means more to me than these words could ever really explain. And thanks to the magic of living on the road, I've also been blessed with these two men I can call close friends as well. This is a big deal to me as I've struggled in the past to allow myself to get close to men in particular. So finding safety and true connection with them has anchored me and helped me open myself up more to the recognition that there are men out there with wholehearted intentions. And I'm beyond grateful to share space with people I feel at home with. If you don't know Alyssa, you must check out her YouTube at Regretless. Her poetic storytelling and stunning vulnerability is part of what helped me speak my own truth and share it with you all here. And that's what I've always valued when it comes to content, authenticity and approachability. If you need a friend, go check her out. While I had the best time making autumn memories with all of them. By the way, my pumpkin is the bloated Luna moth right there. <laughs> May we pause and appreciate this gem? I get it, it's a nailed it version of what I had hoped for, but I mean, I, I think it's great. Carrying on, the next adventure is actually about to begin. I get to house it and watch her dog, Rio, arguably <laughs> one of the coolest dogs on the internet. Goes mama. I think Rio. You ready, you ready to hang out? Rio. <laughs> Like, I don't know where mom is, and I don't want to eat your food. Alright, try again later. We're gonna get along, don't you worry. We just got back from tanning, sunbathing outside on the chairs together. What do you think? What do you think? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy that photo shoot? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Did you enjoy it? Three. Tell me. I promise you, she thoroughly enjoyed it. It's fun. Oh my gosh. Say hello to everyone, Rio, baby. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? Are you enjoying your time with me? Are we having the best time ever? I promise you she's super excited. We've been bonding like crazy. She just has this like, you know, that resting bee face. It's okay. We're gonna have some fun, baby. Okay. <laughs> Rio eats quite fancy. This nice raw dog food. And then Alyssa likes to call it croutons. Put a couple croutons on top. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of some canine joint meds because just to help her out. Mix that up a little bit so she doesn't have to eat the powder right at the top. You know what I'm saying? This is the best part. This is so cute. <laughs> Ready for this? Rio! You want lunch? I caught lunch. Every meal is lunch. <gasps> what is this? He said? Oh. All right. Show him what you're famous for. Tell me. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on. <laughs> Tell me. Oh. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All right, come here. Go on. <laughs> yeah, that's your lunch. Go on, baby. <laughs> so they always go on a morning family walk. So we're going to make sure that we keep going so that Ryu is not stressed and gets the same routine. Yes. Sit. Good girl. Are you ready for your walk? Are you ready for your walk? Come here. Come. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> She's so excited. You ready? You ready to go on a walk? Huh? <laughs> Leo, baby. Good to see you, man. Oh. <laughs> Pretty impressive view for just taking a five minute walk from the house, so. I love the way the leaves dance on these trees. They're like my favorite. They have such personality. Oh man. They're definitely Leos. <laughs> One of the other reasons I love dogs so much is they remind you to be present, you know? Ugh, so much, so much internal jargon, external jargon going on. It's really nice to remember to just be where your feet are, you know? And yeah, they're just great reminders. Um, I've had a lot of transitions in my life the last couple of years. And, you know, I'm in a period where I'm kind of going through a new journey with like my creativity. Uh, yeah, and just what I want to do, like what I want to do with, with my time. And it's been a really beautiful experience to allow that to unfold. And uh, yeah, days like this with, with Rio has just helped me like ground myself and be grateful for literally each second. And man, this, this walk is pretty gorgeous. So. <laughs> You're so beautiful. You see her eyes? You see these two different eyes? Oh, man, those are portals. Are you having so much fun? <laughs> yeah, she's playing in the Aspens. You're so beautiful. Oh my God. You go look at these eyes. I'll tell you what. All right, you ready? Here you go. You wanna keep going? Please take me. All right, let's go. So I've been doing breath work now for over a year and it has been a game changer for me. Um, I like to follow Breathe with Sandy on YouTube. Um, his videos have been so powerful for me and he has so many different types of breathing techniques you can do. Um, one that I focus on a lot for just my overthinking and anxiety is um, deep breathing and then breath retention. And breath retention helps lower your body's oxygen levels, which puts you in a state of hermetic stress, which is actually positive stress on the body for short periods of time. I've been able to do it to this point where I do a few rounds and get up to three minutes holding my breath. Um, this also boosts your immune system. It helps increase neuroplasticity. It releases dopamine, endorphins, and serotonin, which is important to lower any kind of anxiety or depression you might have. Um, it also lowers the heart rate, which brings you into a parasympathetic state, which is basically bringing you back to homeostasis. So you're not in fight or flight. Um, you're more resilient to stress. And yeah, it just helps me start my day off with uh, more clarity and I'm more grounded and I yeah, can basically take on the world. So it's been a great modality for me. And yeah, it's just something I wanted to share for anyone that you know is looking for something to help them in that regard, um, yoga is, you know, I've tried a lot of things, but this seems to be the best experience for me. And then after breath work, I go into a meditation. So um, yeah, you can DM me if you're, if you're interested in to learn more about it, but it's been huge for me. Oh, meditation is so good. Breath work is so good. Uh, I just, I, I'm like in a, <laughs> um, I'm just very zen out. It's very nice. Let's go see what Rio's doing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Rio. Did you feel my energy from the other room, huh? Oh my god. I'm gonna take this off you. So basically, it spoiled her. Um, she's in this room constantly. Uh, she has a dog bed, but she's been sleeping in bed with me, so. Liz said it was okay. <laughs> oh. oh man. She's, I just find her in the office. Take this off you so you can be 
more cup. What a ham bone. All right. Have a good nap. Bye. Good thing, bud. We hanging out. Trying to get some writing in today. With my partner in crime. Can you journal? It's really good for you. Let them know what you want to say. So one thing I think is important with friendship is doing small gestures to show the person that you care. Um, and I'm not one to give like a lot of gifts and things like when it comes to materialistic things, but I very much enjoy like, yeah, small gestures of our acts of kindness. So I'm going to clean the kitchen. Alyssa is probably going to be mortified, but I'm going to rearrange and clean the fridge and just organize some stuff just to help you know, help them out. They they are taking this trip and then they're coming back and they have to turn right back around to go take a trip to Washington for something really exciting. Um, but yeah, so it's just something small I can do. I'm just grateful. You know, I know I'm house sitting and dog sitting for her, but I'm actually very grateful to be able to like have a space outside the van, have a hot shower, you know, somewhere to kind of just, re, you know, unwind. So yeah, it's just uh, me sharing the love back. So yeah, let's, uh, let's clean the kitchen. Rhea, what do you think? Should we help clean the kitchen for mama? You want to help me? I, I did tell the people that you're like one of the coolest dogs on the internet. So yeah, you could, you could be a little more theatrical, but it's okay. You don't have to do anything. All right. I'm gonna clean the kitchen. Let me know if you need anything. somewhere and it's almost five o'clock here so we're gonna enjoy a little snacky snack hey what do you think what do you think we've had a good day i've done some reading and sunbathing we took some walks and i've done some writing did some organizing and cleaning so i think we're gonna treat ourselves i mean if i get a beer then it's only fair if you get all right, don't know the protocol for treats for you, but can you hold it on your nose? Can we try that? Wait. Oh, <laughs> what's that? Give that to me again. What you got? <gasps> can you give me your paw? Nope. Can you speak? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> what, what, is the, what is the command for that? <laughs> All right, you sit. Can you hold it on your nose? Don't bite me. Nope. <laughs> hold on, let's try something new. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Good job, baby. Cheers. All right. You ready? You can go on a walk? <laughs> Come on. Walk in the dinner, yeah? Can you at least show them your happy dance? Because, I mean, like I said, you're one of the coolest dogs on the internet. I'm trying to help them understand why. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You just got to get them out. But if you don't let them out fast, those words go deeper and deeper into you. What do you think, Rio? We had a good day? <laughs> yes. That's not what she sounds like. <laughs> what do you sound like? Anyways, it's been really lovely because this is the longest time we've spent together, just her and I, and we've been, you know, bonding, but also building trust because she's got some trauma issues and, you know, just like taking off her harness can be a little interesting. She gets a little weary of that. And then also like, you know, 
even touching her paws, but it rained today and we came back inside and she let me clean all four of her paws. She was hesitant, but I took my time and I was patient. And so we've come a long way. She's been following me everywhere in the house and she's been sleeping in the bed with me for the past three days, which normally she's or three nights and she usually sleeps in her dog bed. So yeah, I'm going to take that as a sign that she's really taken to me and uh, that means a lot. Um, so thank you, Liz, for letting me spend time with her and trusting me. Also, Liz and I have been able to spend a lot more quality time together this last couple weeks, and that's been incredible for me. I'm, I'm grateful, so grateful for her friendship. Um, she's, she means a lot. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna watch a couple episodes of The Bear, season three, and head to bed. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you in a couple weeks. Oh, look at that takeover. Hey, oh. Oop, hold up. This video is not done until Rio sings. Rio, tell him the video ain't over. Tell him. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the reason Rio decided this video is not over is because we got to go see what Abby's doing. So we talked the other day and we we're just shooting the shit and she sends me this photo. I'm pretty sure that this is a mountain lion track. It might be bear, it might be mountain lion. You can let me know what you think. But obviously I started to stress out. She's on this hike. I don't know what's going on, so we gotta catch up with her to see how this ended. <laughs> successful weekend tattooing at Northwest Nomads. I have made my way to California. So I'm in the Plumas National Forest near Reno. I'm here because I'm actually doing a photo shoot here later today. So from one thing to the next, y'all, I love it. I love um, going from tattooing to photo shoots to, you know, wood burning, painting. I just... I got to get my hands in art all the time. You guys know that. So this makes my soul really happy. I am really excited to do a photo shoot here because this is gorgeous. I haven't been to this spot before. So of course I got here early. I got here yesterday to check it out and it's going to be perfect. I love it. Gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm just starting my day with a little walk um, down this trail it looks to be like a horse trail because i'm seeing hoof prints but y'all is this a bear print tell me if this is a bear print this really looks like a bear print there's not bears here there is bears here <laughs> it's fine everything's fine i'm fine <laughs> which is why i am just rambling on this video gotta make a lot of noise right because you don't want to startle a bear <laughs> i'm here bears hi don't be startled. I'm walking. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to know that whenever I'm hiking alone in possible bear country, that I play music on my phone uh, to announce my arrival to potential bears um, so I don't startle them so that they have a chance to listen, hear my music, and scamper away. My music of choice is typically classical music because it makes me feel like I'm going on a magical quest. And also, I mean, it's soothing and calm and has been around for centuries. I feel like the wildlife and the nature would appreciate it. So <laughs> y'all can't hear the music because every time I stop, I, every time I record a video like this, the music stops. But rest assured, it is playing. <laughs> and I am on a merry little quest through the forest and the rocks and the natures and yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> so not only am I, uh, you know, practicing some safety measures, you know, to 
think, keep myself safe from startling bears. But I also, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm on a, on a little side quest to, I don't know, I don't know, I'm rambling again. But wow, this is beautiful. And I haven't seen a bear yet. I still don't even know if that track was a bear track. It could have just been a horse track that got askew because, I mean, I just don't know. Better to be safe, right? So I'm playing my music and frolicking down the trail. <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm home. Oh, that's a sweet boy. That's a sweet boy. Yeah. You want to come out? You need to go outside? That's a good. Do you miss me? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have liked it. Too long for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, friends. The photo shoot yesterday was amazing, like so perfect. Um, and yeah, had a great sleep. And now I'm headed out of this gorgeous spot and into town to do some errands before I continue making my way west to eventually meet up with Nikki. Oh, I'm so excited. It kind of it feels like right now the journey west officially starts because i've just driven south and now today i head west it's time <laughs> continue on milford grade for three miles kind of determined to see if we can get you to do this. I think mommy would be very impressed. Okay, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, okay, <laughs> okay, good job. All right, one day you're going to catch it from your nose to your mouth, but Hopefully she'll find that fascinating. <laughs> Out and about, but it's been a lovely day. Got some cleaning done. Let's thank you for accepting me. Cleaning your, what the hell is that bug? Hold on. These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew.